Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. We are the Abrahams. And it's such a pleasure and delight to be before you again today. This uh, wonderful student, and I, I, I can tell you, man, it's, it's so, there's so much joy in there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's because of the hammer time? Well, hammer time just started now. Yeah, but oh yeah, yeah right, sir. but you know, I mean Christmas and Amazon, but you know, Amazon is Christmas. But then it's Christmas, and I'm for whatever reason, I think that this Christmas um, comes to the kind of joy in the other people because I think the previous year the so-called celebration attached to seasons yeah. just kind of like faded off but I think the one for this year yeah. is gradually yeah. um, returning yeah. and yeah. it's a great thing happy, happy to hear that I hope the Amata is not doing a strong thing like he's doing some people in this place <laughs> <laughs> well I am not a part of Amata season I don't like Amata I love Amata I love in fact it, the nostalgia it brings, the joy and the oh my god, I remember those years when I was doing it. She'll be going to the next time. Those years, but, but you know, um, mm -hmm. the, the certain peculiarities though that still come with hammer time. Some of you like it, some of you don't, but even then, you can't take your hammer time. We just have to be grateful for yeah, it. Yeah, it's a not good. And still move. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, the occasional. Uh, sickness. Even though I don't, I don't really like my dancing because it comes sweet. Uh, you can't really explain what is wrong with you. It just <laughs> makes you feel sick, <laughs> and you can't say, "Okay, hey, this is exactly what's wrong with me. Your throat is dry. You just feel weak." Interesting, yeah. And guess what? Your some other external influences. Your faith food though, refuses to stop to to lock. I mean, it stops locking. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it affects the lock and it gets the door, very door, stop the locking. Heat. Faithful door, the door stop locking. I mean, your your face is all of a sudden just cream and your face becomes white. Your lips cracking, everything dust everywhere. Even then, I still love it. Congratulations. All right, guys. So. Um, just stay refined and all of that, you know, have a dance with them requires you to. So, moisturize very well. Use Merry all the Christmas in advance. And Merry Christmas in advance too. If you're new to our channel, we are the Abrams. I would like you to subscribe. subscribe. Uh, we're happy people. I want to spread a lot of joy and happiness <laughs> in and through our lives and even this season. That's and if you're a returning subscriber, you're so, so welcome. We're happy to have you here again. Uh, you know, we thought you'd been wondering who are the Abrahams. <laughs> who are these guys? I mean, what are yes, they doing? So. What are they up about? How do they meet? What's this? <laughs> so we thought to tell you a bit of our story. Mm -hmm. Not just a bit, I mean, the most personal part of parts, in fact, story of time. our story of, of how we met and how we came into being together and staying together, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, babe. So I think that's all we need to get today. How about you start off? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Story, story. Story. Hello. Hello, mom. Pencil to your grandmother. Hello, mom. They have been born. They have been born. All right, guys. So we are just like my husband said. We want you guys to get to know us because most of our videos we've not really done any video officially introducing yeah. ourselves or how we got to meet yeah. or, you know and you know you like this you like we know that you like this stuff yes. about bringing this piece to you <laughs> okay so i met my husband in 2019 mm -hmm. in our i just finished serving i served in calabar um i, I finished serving i think that was july we were the june july set so i think i finished serving july 24 Yes, she should be let in for there about. So I returned to Akure. Um, then I went to see my parents. Then yeah, I came family. back to to base where I stayed in Akure before I went to service. And God was very good to me. Like I got my first job like barely a month after service. And that was where I met this wonderful Anyway, that's why I met this wonderful uh, human being, OP office. 
And then when Ope has just come to, uh, to Nigeria okay. and yeah. they were very new, they yeah, were yeah, well yeah, known, yeah. particularly the okay. all right section, you remember? Yeah. For the other uh, bike and all of those things. Mm. So Accra was one of the major cities. Um, Lagos, yeah. Ibadan, Ilori, Accra, those were some of the major, major cities where um, Ope really functioned very well. I mean, the all right section now. So that was where we worked. We worked to the alright section where various departments and so that's where we worked. So um, I think it was August, August. I didn't join because they when when alright came to Accra they were using a temporary yes. structure yeah. at the time. So when they finally got a property that they moved in, that was when I came. That was like three weeks after the whole three yeah, weeks after, after they started. started. Yeah, that was when I joined, um, and that was where I met my husband. Yes, I met my husband. Yeah, I mean, and I had also joined the workforce. I mean, about three weeks before she joined, or one month before she joined. So I mean, I was there to just. I, I'm sorry, but I was I was going through some big stuff. I mean, mm. so I just decided to lock lock away. <laughs> I didn't want new person, I didn't want anybody, I just wanted to be on my own. Oh, of course, my, my, our, our role in the office required us to interfere and definitely, to relate with people. Definitely. In fact, we, we worked in a session, in the, in the section that Riders, related to like the like riders. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know how like, to do No, no offense intended it's about like, men. He's like working with Agberos, no offense. No offense. But he's like working with Agberos, you know, when you are charged with directly interfacing with riders and customers. Local riders. As in. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not riders that way. I mean, the training that they gave the riders is barely an hour. Uh, yes, they before they started work and everything. Like, riders, you go to graduate. No, no, no. So it's not like there's some tush, it's not like your Uber driver or your boat driver. It's not like there's some tush in a local street driver. Just like Agbiros, that mm. you understand. Relating with them, I mean, so to relate like to them. Yeah. And now they had to use, you know, they had a phone, they had the app. Yeah. You know, having to relate to them using those kind of things. Yeah, like, before I didn't even use, I mean, alien to them. technology before. So, I mean, so there was no way you'd be in that place that you would not own you must, you just <laughs> they, have to, you have to talk, you have to, to be, you know, they, they expressive. Not just make you to talk, they will make you angry. angry. <laughs> Sometimes it'll be like slapping <laughs> them or <laughs> eating them. Angry, very angry. Oh my god. But, so, so I, I'm just saying that I, although I intended not to relate, I still had to do my job. And I ensured that I did my job well. So, but with respect to making new friends, I you know, I, I mean, Maybe for some of you guys that think that, look, I've checked here, I've checked there, I've checked there, can't find. So, look, I'm tired. I'm tired of checking. No more checking. Anybody, let anybody be on their own. And no more checking out the ladies. No, it's <laughs> Baba. <laughs> or Abaluma. <laughs> I mean, check out the ladies what around you. Please, oh, be specific, oh. No, I'm saying it now. Like, check out the ladies. You're checking out the what ladies around you. You check out the ladies around you. You check out the ladies. No, wait, oh, by checking, of course. I mean, Considering their values, weighing their uh, this thing, how they are trying to be friends with them, and yeah, then trying to be friends and see that they, they align with yours, and if they don't, then you move. So I mean, I was tired. Apart from that, I was even having personal stuff about dealing with. I just wanted to be alone. I just go to the office with my book and my um, earphones in my ear to listen to messages. So as soon as I listen, uh, uh, while I'm attending to someone, I don't, uh, I stop reading. I attend, I go back to reading, and all of that. That was my life generally. Until one day, I saw this. I didn't even see you coming. That was the, I think when a new facility then, when the new facility. So I, I just saw her at the table when the same section uh, of all right. So I saw her at the table, some tables away from me, and I saw the lady just looking around and trying to like what's going on here with all this hubbub of activity. I think that was the first day at work. That was the first day at work. So he just sat on the table. Um, lady with nails and I mean with the, <laughs> with the makeup and this thing I'm like oh what's going on here? Yeah, did I even wear makeup? I'm not really you didn't makeup wear makeup like that. that day. Oh, by makeup of course I didn't mean that uh, all the paint, 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 paint. <laughs> but re regular lipstick, regular um, okay, nails okay, regular. and um, at, uh, was it a wig? I think it was a wig that yes, was something. Yes, so 
I just saw that look is still right on that picture is in my head uh, right now. Okay. I wish I could print maybe. it out and maybe give you a copy, <laughs> something like that. But uh, maybe we have that kind of technology coming up. I'd like to have it. Okay. <laughs> like I get to print it. So um, I, I just saw looking at but I mean, guys, that was just a random look. I didn't attach anything to it. I went back because the, the, the mechanism I'd set up in my head was like, guy, no friendship with anybody in any case. Like, Whatever imagine, imagine so, coming to work in a place and you say you don't want to be friends with like, anybody in one place. You, you don't want to be friends sometimes, with your colleague. Seriously. No, no, of course. I had people sitting inside me. I had the guy sitting here. Yeah, but you were not I really into them, them too. But the relation is just a... Yeah, what's the solution to this problem? What the fuck? Anything outside work? After work, gentlemen, ladies, say uh, au revoir, uh, hasta la vista. Let everybody go to their house. So that was what I'm not endorsing this, but I mean, it was just a season in my life that I really wanted some clarity, and so that was why. So I just saw her, I just noted her, but that picture remains in my head. So, uh, of course, that was it, didn't trouble me in the days to go. The pictures were not like it was telling me, so yeah, I couldn't that was it, that was it, that was it. When I'm playing ghosts, it was in the months to come. But that picture began to make sense to me why I observed her the way I did and so on. But let me not tell you that way. Let me ah, you that way. yeah! <laughs> let, let me find out what is in your let mind. Me, let me keep, let me keep going. Where are you going to go? Anyway, guys. Okay, so my, my part of the story, um, I got to Ope. I was sitting beside some set of people. I, it wasn't. I wasn't directly sitting beside him. It was a few, yeah, a tables, few away. tables away from it's my, away. from my table. And before now, I am. Um, I think. Well, I could. I could just be either of the two extremes. I could be very outgoing. When I want to enter into my shell, I could just lock up completely. Mm -hmm. So before now, but what well, something is, I value. I have values. And when I want to make friends, I try to ensure that I make friends with people who have the same values and mindset that I do have. So it, it so even in service here, I think all through my service here, I made like maybe two to three friends. Can you just imagine NYC for that matter? No, and it's not like I don't want to make friends, but I was really into my I, I job. I made a lot of friends during my life. I was it's... you because we were in the family house. That's one, of course. This one, I mean, I mean, it plays a, bit, a lot of people. I'm still deciding not to make friends. Because so I can really decide in that anyway, not to make I wasn't that was a different else. season for me. This During one, my NYC. Plus, my NYC season was like the season that you were in at the time. My NYC season was really, really, a, I don't know, like a silent period for me. I was really, really silent at the time. Like, I didn't have so much friends. I think maybe just few friends in Calabar and then when I visited my friend at Egwene, a mm -hmm. few a few other friends. That was it for me. Plus I was into my church. I in NYC I didn't join NCCF so to say. Once in a while I attended program but I wasn't staying in the family house so I had a church in town on these streams that I attended and I was into my church. So that was just my life. My life was just basically church and my PPA at the time and Mm -hmm. My house, I don't have so um, after NYC, I just had some self, what do we call it, self check, or what do we call it, and I felt like okay, sometimes too, you have to just open up to relate with people, even if they don't necessarily see you know from your perspective, but yeah. it's just for the facial relation with people yeah. being friendly, you know, things like that, just being a loving person, yeah. yeah. So I decided I was going to improve. That area. So when I came to uh, OP, I, I think that OP was one of the places where I really related with people very well, seriously. Because I, even though most of the people sitting beside me do not really have the kind of value that I have, I don't mean we work, we work, all of us were working in the same department, so you know now it's basically the same thing we were all doing. Yeah. But as regards life, you know they really, really have the value that I have. I think I, I kind of it's related true, friendly with them yeah. well. The likes of Mr. Brighton, it didn't take yeah. so long for you know for them to yeah. start talking to me and all of those. So I think I related well with them, um, in, to, in that regard. So that was it. And I think the most time I was wrong, I didn't even notice you. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure I noticed you seriously. <laughs> 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 
Ende. <lacht> Was so, oh mein Gott. So. Aber weißt du, toll. Okay. Okay. Dann die Pop. Wann du sie? Okay. Anyway, ja, I think the first time, I, I, I'm not really sure I noticed him. I think it was the second day or third day that I noticed him. But I remember the first time that I noticed him. I might have seen him, but I didn't notice him. I remember the first day I noticed him. I still have a picture. Okay. He was walking into the office because our office was a lot. We were way on the ground floor. Yeah, so it was a large. It was like a large, um, it was more like a hall, no? like yeah. a mini hall, yes. yeah, something like okay. that. So you, you were walking in in the morning, and you wore, it was one of the casual days, I think you wore a, maybe a jersey or a neck or something, and, and then, then you had a muffler. And the gold chain, yes. <laughs> gold chain, oh! Yeah! Oh my god, that was eh? Gold chain, if anybody, if anybody should tell me that my mother was sleeping, it's not gold chain, it's not my husband, I don't know about it. Maybe now, but that day when he was still good, I don't know. My eh, pastor to become a name, uh, husband. <laughs> anyway, so his own version was always muffler. He had a lot of mufflers, like a lot red, yellow, blue, black, white. I love mufflers. I still do love mufflers. But you but you stopped wearing them. Yeah, I mean, I've given out 80% of my mufflers. Yes, so true. I'm still looking for because you know where they are sending mufflers. <laughs> To me, I've been looking for you to get me no. Anyway, these days I, I, I practically like brush on your dressing. So I can say, babe, don't wear that, don't wear that. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even the ones you have, don't mind, you know, you say. Anyway, guys, let's go. Let's not like, like right. deviate from the issue. So, you wait, I think it just, yeah, you had a muffler around your neck. I think a jean, and then it was a sand that you wore. I think it was the sun that you wore. That's a pretty good picture. Okay. Yeah. And then you walked into the office. That was the first time I actually noticed you. And then at other times, like seriously, the first impression about my husband, my husband was very I, I I felt it was annoying. Because it was just I felt it was just trying to be over perfect or something. And it was and I was like, Kilo Shele, why are you Kilo Mele? Why are you trying to be? Because of, seriously, those riders could be really very annoying. And when everybody is taking it out on them, you know, those kinds of things. Well, you just be like, the kind of person that can handle everything, can take everything, can, you know, that kind of attitude. You know, in class, when we're in school, those days, you know, there are some annoying students that the ones that would tell teachers, Auntie, you are not giving us your book. You know, those kind of annoying students. When everybody, or when we're in university, those people that will secretly go and call lecturers, they say, We have a free period. You know, those kind of things. You can fix the class for now. That's how now. That's how. That was almost like, you know, those kind of people. Because it was just, I'm like, I remember telling my sisters, I just just said them about. There's this colleague of mine, he's always feeling this thing. Nothing annoys me when something is wrong and everybody's trying to complain. No, this one should not be like that. No, it feels like no, you understand. It's always like, what, what's wrong with this one? So what, you what, what, are you, what, what are you trying to prove? Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, that was, that was my first um, impression right. about him and how I first noticed him. On our defense, I have to. Say that that was not the deliberate. It was not. It wasn't a deliberate act to impress or a deliberate uh, a, to get attention or whatever it was. I was just doing it. My idea was look solutions. This right I like here for solutions. I uh, know offense men, but many of them can be very uh, ignorant, and the ignorance comes from their illiteracy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I just. Found out that look, I need to deal with them from this angle. This person doesn't really know this thing. It doesn't. Know. So I, I didn't. I, I shall found a way to deal with them along because those riders can be something. I mean, someone just coming right from the gate and he's shouting, ah. making a noise. That look, you guys want to buy solutions? <laughs> if you come to this, you come to the office or to the landing area. Oh yeah, I shout. Every time he's shouting, everybody there. If I have all this, I have all that. Sometimes we even carry shit. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they were so rowdy and Seriously, all that. Seriously, guys, so it's like, oh, so, wait, it's like them asking you to go and manage Jack Bruce. That's just, that's just the that's nearest thing to me. You understand? If you're, if you're in Nigeria and you understand, if you're in Nigeria, it's like seeing um, 
ghetto, you know, the ghetto yeah, areas, yeah, and yeah. then go and manage yeah. people in the ghetto areas. Yeah. Who are already used to violence and you know scattering things. Mm-hmm. So, now they now want you to manage them. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I, I just thought like, look, a little more patience, a little more understanding for these guys, and then you can diffuse their temper, solve their problem, and move on. And I can go back to the book I'm reading. That's more important to me. I can go back to the message I'm listening to. Sometimes if I just put the headphones in my ear and I'm not listening to them, of course. Just imagine. The writer don't care about that, though. This guy don't wear, though. It's put everything in your ear. You're not listening to anything just, just to distract people. people. Feel like, not the writers. The writers will never distract them. Whether you like. If you like, put, put everything in your ear. Yeah, you're sleeping. Put them on the desk. Mm. When the desk are sleeping, they will come there and poke you in the ribs or they'll slam the table and tell you that you need to attend to them right now. They need all that right there and then. So that was, this was just for my uh, colleagues and I. So it was just something that I thought I, I wanted. So I was listening to a lot of messages, I was reading a lot of books, and that was what I wanted to do at the time. So that's my defense. So I wasn't trying to be, and if I, if I was trying to be that, I probably would have stopped being that after we started sitting together. Because I still kept being that in any case. The power of God that I brought. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> are you joking this now? Are you joking this now? Was too, the anointing was too much for oh you to goodness. resist. <laughs> okay, so you got relocated from your... Okay, family. so at, at some point, uh, team lead at the time. <coughs> Sorry guys. I think this is why that I don't like about that. Like any smoking, you just so your throat feels dry. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I think late at the time, at some point, she said that I should move to, for whatever reason. I think something happened, and she was like, "Okay, I should move my seat to the other extreme." Remember the other yeah, extreme? Yeah. And uh, my spirit just didn't go there. My spirit did not go there, even though I was ready to, you know, just relate to people. Be- I was ready to be friendly. I wasn't ready to so, still go yeah. out of borders of my personal principles and values and mm-hmm. things like that. And I felt people in that place, I could not, even though people here, yeah, it's not like this thing, but at least to some extent, because they were guys, all the people in this place, I was the only lady in the midst of them, you know? Yeah. yeah. But in the other end, there were more ladies. ladies. So I didn't really want to get into that ladies. I've just been like that. I, like I've just been like that for most part. I didn't really want. To, I felt that I could still relate more with these guys, mm. and then I could now start relating with those ladies from a bit of distance, mm. you know. <laughs> so I I didn't go. So when she said I should go there, I was like, no. I, I was more comfortable. Here. I didn't go. So I think the person at the, the other extreme and the person directly beside you, they got closer. I think that was what really happened. They got okay, closer. Yeah. So they kind of like wanted switched. They wanted to get closer to each other so that they could be just still with their colleague yeah. maybe at break time or stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. And yeah. that was how you now got to start sitting beside me. It was me. you who got to start sitting. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I didn't move. We just got sitting move. beside yeah, each other yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that was how we now started sitting beside each other. And I have to say this. I think it was really Providence that got us sitting together because Although she didn't want to move to that area where the team lead asked her to, uh, the team lead changed their mind and brought her to a uh, seat. I mean, there was someone between us when the team lead first relocated you. But somehow, the guy beside me wanted he wanted to be closer to the other guy the too. Other guy, yes. Yes, true. So we now asked you to move to this side. That was how we started sitting together. And you know, I thought that was a random uh, act, but. I think we all had of even going to OP. Yeah. That way it was divine providence. In fact, I have to say that it really must have been divine providence because I was not meant to be in that department. The original intention, and uh, with respect to my application, was to be in another team that was in one of the top floors. Uh, uh, that uh, was it on body or training? It was training. training. It was training. That was where I was intended to be. But sometimes when everything was changed and changed and changed, and I just found myself working with Randy's management. Yeah. Same, and then you same, same, same came mentor. in and you, 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 you worked with Randy's management. And I didn't have any difficulty with that thing. In fact, I didn't have to go through all the stress when they were recruiting. Like, I just practically came and yeah. just started working. And we kept, I mean, after that relocation, no other. No other 
I mean, this thing was done again you. until we all <laughs> finished there. We scared to sit inside each other. Yeah. So, I mean, that was that, that was, that was, that was, that definitely had to be had. Oh, God, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Plus, at the time, too, you know, I was processing, I wanted to, I was contemplating going for the second degree. Yeah. At the time. So, I'd, I'd put in for, from my school where I finished from, mm -hmm. I'd use my degree re results. Yeah. Uh, to process for law for a second degree, and I'd written. Um, what did they ask us to write at the time? Was he? I don't even know what we wrote. I think it was creamy or something. That time they didn't do the normal written exam, it was an online screening, and I think jam. Mm. Was it screening and jam that we did, or something like that? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I think we did jam too. I think I did. I can't even remember why well, that was what I was presenting because when I was in Calabar, I remember getting the form in Calabar and then I had a lot of issues just to get in from the guy who was processing it for me just kept making mistakes. I had to, you know, do this one, use another number, all of those things. And I, at some point I'm like, see that God no want me to do mm. to do this law or something. But I just felt sometimes let it not be that every time you have you face challenges doing something, it means that God doesn't want you to do it so I just kept at it but something somehow I just knew I kept at it but people just felt plus my parents and everything plus I finished it very well for my department mm -hmm. for my department good care yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway sure. I finished as the best student for my department at the time so I felt they felt my results since it's, it was still the same school could just process direct entry from philosophy to law which which was actually um, working like a lot mm -hmm. of people few people want to do that actually do that but for whatever reason at the time i was still even hoping that the result would come out for whatever reason at the time i, I don't know what happened when i went and told my lecturers or something that it didn't work I, my name didn't come out they were shocked because they felt that my admission would just be like automatic you know mm -hmm. that kind of thing because i had good scores good scores and everything but then i just finished service and it wasn't even long at all at all, it wasn't even up to one month after NYC when I got the job at OPE. So I really think that um, it was God just aligning my steps to say, okay, no, it's not going to be this way, it's going to be this way, and that. And sometimes to God can, might yeah, not be the way you're planning, your but plan. if God is, if, if you are seeing the hand of God mm -hmm. in a particular move, just follow God. God yeah. always knows, He uh, knows the end before the beginning even started. And I think. That these are some of the lessons that you can learn. When God is working things with you, don't push things too hard. Don't push things too hard. Just let them work it out. I mean, I wasn't looking forward to this. I mean, it wasn't a deliberate search or intentional say that look, I must find this lady. Ah, you that lady go there. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking of that. God, God invaded my plans, ruined everything, God and then set up, your plan. set up a new one altogether. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy you did that because it's, it's something else and it's a beautiful story today. Okay, so how I got to like, um, like just see you for the first time because at the time we just relocated, we're not even talk or anything. Yeah. And everything. Okay, so um, why are you started sitting beside me now that we are seat partners? So yes, how do I yes, it call it? Sitmate, father started sitting beside him. So there was this faithful day, you know, he already told you he was always buried in his books and everything. And that was my number one, um, let me say, value that I had that attracted me to because I, I read too. I'm the kind of person that I read too. So when I see him all the time, he's always reading and, and everything. Like anytime we are free or anything, it's always reading. So that's my number one value because I believe that value in a way, value is like, um, Proportional to attraction, yeah, attraction, okay. attraction, yeah. whatever, whatever yeah, represents okay. value to you, mm -hmm. it's what attracts you when you see it. So that's number one. And then number two, again, there was this faithful day, he was listening to a message, uh, I think it was around break time or lunch period or so. So he plugged his earphone, earphone, and then he dropped his phone on the table, on the table. So uh, I just looked at the table and then I saw a, a message up by Apostle Joshua Selman. I think was, I, I could That's not good. exactly remember. Then they, I saw that his screen, the message scrolled through in the screen, Apostle Joshua Selman. In my mind, I'm like, oh, so this guy listens to Apostle. And 
if you know me like oh my god i am very big on apostle particularly during my campus days like everyone on campus who knows me already know can attach me to I to apostle like that was my tribe do you understand even in nyc people who have never met me before i had random people always asking me oh do you listen to apostle Bishop so man is he your spiritual father you know things like that so when i started listening to apostle so they say and so my, I used to talk that one of the ways I know that I would know my husband is that somehow he would like he would like I used to tell people that I know that I would meet my husband through Apostle. Now it doesn't literally mean that Apostle would join because they are both and not that. But that person would actually agree with the values and principles uh, yeah. that Apostle teaches. Do you understand? I, I wrote that on my status many times, even when I had not yet met him or something. I just knew. So at the time when I now saw him playing Apostle's message, Apostle's message. It doesn't mean I was thinking I was one thing, you know, please. But I was like, oh, so this guy too listens to Apostle Bishop Selman. And I didn't say anything about it. I didn't even talk to him or say, oh, do you listen to Apostle Bishop Selman? No, I just knew it in my heart for that. That was so this mm. to Apostle Bishop Selman. And that was all. And Mary kept this thing to <laughs> But really, from, anyway, sure, from the time he, he, I said I noticed him when he walked into the hall that morning when we were all um, resuming mm. the day, I knew there was something striking about him. There was something striking about him. There were plenty of people that walked into the hall. Imagine, I don't have that picture stuck up in my head. Mm. So you can imagine, and we and imagine the unit where I mean, we attended to hundreds and thousands of people every day. Yeah. So you can imagine. So that's it. So in my own defense, though, I was just literally listening to my message. No, I wasn't trying to draw anybody's attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, and if you know me, I I'm almost always listening to a message. At least once, you yeah. definitely listen to messages and listen to messages. And usually, uh, what was this in our personal AJS for me that time? AJS, to yeah. meet my needs. <laughs> so I sat down with him and I was listening, and I still do listen to him. He's a great mentor and instructor of us. I we listen very closely to his messages. He was meeting a need of mine, and I thought, look, I need this. Um, I don't know, I was also reading a, a book on time, time travel. Time travel. Time travel. Science. Yeah, the science uh, based on documentary, something like that. So. That's what I was reading. But what struck me about her, having begun to sit together, I didn't suddenly just fall head over heels. I was still my court, uh, what is it now, taciturn uh, self. Mm, I don't know what, enigmatic. <laughs> yeah, enigmatic, you remember? <laughs> it was still his enigmatic self. Okay, so I wasn't, a di I wasn't directly understand. So if you start to type in, you'd wonder, who is this guy? What is this guy up to? He doesn't talk to anybody. He just, like, maybe he just generally, he doesn't talk generally, Nico. And even if you asked me a question, I always found something else to say. Probably I'll answer in a riddle. So you now own that I'll come. What is this guy talking about? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I deliberately made myself uh, that at that point in time. Just to warn people off. Because I know usually, uh, once sweetie. you tell people, you know, just. We just laugh it off and move on, move on. But she stood down. That was one that was one thing. She stood down, she asked the question. And I gave people the random answers that made them laugh. She never, she never stopped. Okay guys, I think I, I let me just preach myself for this. I think I have a, a quality of, of um, breaking and guys. Seriously. Nani? Because people from the secondary school went. Eh? From the secondary school, my junior secondary school, if you hey, watched hey. our previous video, I went to a guest only but in school. But when I started attending uh, a day school for my senior secondary school, guys that, there, was, there were a few guys that, like, they were really very intelligent, but I don't know, intelligent people sometimes are just associated with witness. They just, into themselves, people feel they are proud and everything. So when I came, that particular guy in our school, that people, I, this guy is too proud, he's into himself, he's swifty. He was, it was in sciences, I was in arts, even though that story for another day, they almost killed me for going to arts class, that bright students like this should not be in art class, but I stood mm -hmm. my ground anyway. Story for another day. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that guy from art class, I don't know what happened one time, I, I went to meet the guy, I, I, I told him that, I don't even know, maybe I asked him to explain something to me in mathematics or something. From, from art class to science class, so from like, it says 1A to it says, it says 1B. 
no from ss1 d to like ss1 a mm. or something and and the guy gave me audience seriously i just have this way of cracking social so when i met him like ah uh-uh, Anyway, anyway, we have the key. Anyway, anyway, okay. Anyway, I also felt uh, attracted by her intelligence. She was inter- from. I mean, having now begun to sit beside me, I could observe firsthand how she dealt with the issues, how she related with people. Before when you went beside me, yeah. I couldn't see. Okay, but now that you began to sit beside me, I could now see how she related with people, how she answered the writers, and I could see that it was distinct. There was a distinctly intelligent way about how she went about it. And I'm like, hmm. 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 Curious. Okay. Anyway, I mean, that. And of course, she was beautiful. Aww. I mean, there were lots and lots of guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it? Ha. That's story about it. Yes, like yes, we'll leave, we'll leave that part. <laughs> We'll leave that part. Mm-hmm. I will still tell you that. We'll definitely tell you everything about it. Mm-hmm. But why did you stay tuned to this? I mean, yeah. I think it's a series you don't want to meet. It seems going to be an excited series. So, um, I, 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 what, what else was it? She also enjoyed reading and listening to. In fact, as we grew closer, she would take my earphones and I'd plug one ear in my ear, plug the other in my ear, and she would listen. Even though most of the messages you were listening to, I had already listened to them. Do you? I mean, is it is message? You thousands of times I have also listened to those messages. <laughs> but for me, messages don't go That's old. True. There are certain There's messages that don't new, go old. A new message. But many of them, I wasn't just listening to them because of the things that were said. I was listening to them to create an atmosphere around me. Yeah, that's that true. Was, that was the major purpose. Because in this one, you see word and everything. You have to deliberate about the atmosphere. To create an atmosphere of faith then you create and around you presence yourself. around you. So that, yeah. that really was the major thing. Because with all the noise and all, you probably won't even hear some of the words. But you just know that you're listening to that you're soaking yeah. into your spirit and mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you are crystallizing stuff. Mm-hmm. So I, I I began to see that our values um aligned and we saw that she liked reading. I loved reading too. She loved uh, listening to messages, she was intelligent, I mean she matched my wit and um, also she was someone who didn't let go Easily. of me. Because she just I mean, on oh, the oh, next few days, you ask the question. I can ask the question, what, and he wants to give me this short answer. And I won't give an answer that. Eh? Usually, people will just hear the answer, just smile, and say, okay, yeah, that's good, and they'll move on. She wants to keep knowing. Even if I didn't give the answer, she wants to find out. I found that interesting. Because not many people <laughs> will keep asking me that question, or keep wanting to find out the end of this thing. So I took it as a challenge. I mean, so I became an enigmatic. I am going to the end of this matter. <laughs> So guys, there's a lot more in this for us to tell you. Guys, let's stop it. I think we should, we should take. We're well, filming here. this video at night, so it's yeah, getting so really dark, dark already. Because we filmed one in the dark. afternoon, seriously, guys, and for like 40 minutes, and we lost that video. It was corrupted, so we had to let's do this one again. Okay. Okay. Thank you okay. so much for tuning in. We are the Abraham, yeah. um, yeah. Odwan, Toby Abraham, yeah. my husband is Uluwa Toby. Abraham. Oh, okay. And here at the Abraham to film on film on face relationship, lifestyle, lifestyle, trending issues, personal and vlogs, and other well, interesting things. And lots of things you find exciting. And we are a happy couple. We are yep. likable. Yep. Like very likable. So you well, should become part of our family so that you can enjoy yep. part of yep. the things yep. we yep. enjoy yep. and sharing our joy. Yes, and guess what? This Christmas is going to be an exciting one. Yes, because we're so soon going to release um, an, an episode that we're going to really going to get you I mean, excited about Christmas. We're going to be a little caroling. Yeah, kind of carol songs. My yeah. husband is a music person. If you haven't listened to his debut album, yeah, we have the lyrics video single. in our channel here. It's called Song, Song of the Lamb. Lamb. Please just listen to it yes. so my husband then will bring to you guys and, and some carol. Yes, what? Another one is on the way and another yeah, single is another on the way. Yeah, another single is on the way. Soon be here. I'd like you to follow us on uh, Instagram too at the Abrams TV. On Instagram, we're there too on Instagram. And uh, if you're new again, please subscribe. Or please and hit the notification button, please. If you're a returning subscriber, 
love you, we want to see more of you, share our channels with your friends. If you don't listen to our last series, you don't understand though. Please go and listen to our last series. So, I mean, we talk powerfully on addressing, addressing your first and about getting, getting married. married. Like, it contains all you need. Need yeah. to plan your a budget wedding, your wedding in Nigerian wedding. society, and it's going to very help detailed. You. We have with, with a lot of resources. I mean, I mean, there's a budget uh, spreadsheet. There's another for priority creation. All of that is going to help you. It's going to help you. I think. I think we should. I think we should end it. Yeah. Yes. Let's end it. It's getting really it's dark. Getting dark. Yeah. So that um, our video move. doesn't get so so dark. Video. Yes. So at this juncture, we have come to the end of today's episode. So, watch out for my meeting the episodes. Yeah. We love on. you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And with that, we are signing, signing out. out. We, we are the Abraham. Yeah. Yeah.